Camille brushes past the mouth of the Mississippi. Prior to Katrina, Camille was the benchmark for storm surge in the United States. It pushed the water up to a height more than 24 feet above normal tide levels. It's bound to be in here somewhere because all these are the houses that came from in this vicinity. <laughs> Camille produced catastrophic loss of life and property damage on the Gulf Coast. And then a couple of days later, it produced another catastrophe in Virginia from flash flooding. How many bodies have you found so far? This makes 19 for us. Over the years, as part of Camille's legacy, there have been a couple of myths which have persisted. 24 people decided to write it out at the Richelieu. 23 died. There was a myth that there was a hurricane party at an apartment building on the Mississippi coast, people literally throwing caution to the wind. But that myth has been categorically debunked by a couple of survivors who have said that people were praying, not partying. There was also a myth that John Hope, the late great hurricane expert at the Weather Channel, chose his daughter's name, Camille, for the 1969 list. Actually, it was a colleague of his at the National Hurricane Center who recommended it. Little did either of them know what the sea storm that year would end up doing. In official records going back more than a century, Hurricane Camille is one of only three Category 5 U.S. hurricanes.